This article is about the Polish decryption device. For the later British decryption device at Bletchley Park, see BOM. The Bomber, or Bomber Cryptologischer was a special purpose machine designed about October 1938 by Polish cipher bureau cryptologist Marian Radewski to break German Enigma machine ciphers. History the German Enigma used a combination key to control the operation of the machine, rotor order, which rotors to install, which ring setting for each rotor, which initial setting for each rotor, and the settings of the stecker plugboard. The rotor settings were trigrams to indicate the way the operator was to set the machine. German Enigma operators were issued lists of these keys, one key for each day. For added security, however, each individual message was encrypted using an additional key modification. The operator randomly selected a trigram rotor setting for each message. This message key would be typed twice and encrypted, using the daily key. At this point each operator would reset his machine to the message key, which would then be used for the rest of the message. Because the configuration of the Enigma's rotor set changed with each depression of a key, the repetition would not be obvious in the ciphertext since the same plaintext letters would encrypt to different ciphertext letters. This procedure, which seemed secure to the Germans, was nonetheless a cryptographic error. Using the knowledge that the first three letters of a message were the same as the second three, Polish mathematician and Euro cryptologist Marian Radewski was able to determine the internal wirings of the Enigma machine and thus to reconstruct the logical structure of the device. Only general traits of the machine were suspected, from the example of the commercial Enigma variant, which the Germans were known to have been using diplomatically. The military versions were sufficiently different that they presented an entirely new problem. Having done that much, it was still necessary to check each of the potential daily keys to break an encrypted message. With many thousands of such possible keys, and with the growing complexity of the Enigma machine and its keying procedures, this was becoming an increasingly daunting task. In order to mechanize and speed up the process, Radewski, a civilian mathematician working at the Polish General Staff Cipher Bureau in Warsaw, invented the Bomber Kryptologischer, probably in October 1938. Each bomb essentially constituted an electrically powered aggregate of six enigmas and took the place of some 100 workers. The bomb method was based, like the Pole's earlier grill method, on the fact that the plug connections in the commutator did not change all the letters. But while the grill method required unchanged pairs of letters, the bomb method required only unchanged letters. Hence it could be applied even though the number of plug connections in this period was between 5 and 8. In mid-November 1938, the bombs were ready, and the reconstructing of daily keys now took about two hours. How the machine came to be called a bomb has been an object of fascination and speculation. One theory, most likely apocryphal, originated with Polish engineer and army officer Tadeusz Lysicki. He claimed that Jersey ranking cube Langstrom one Kortoricki named the bomb after an ice cream dessert of that name. The story seems implausible, since Lysicki had not known ranking cube Langstrom one Kortoricki. Radewski himself stated that the device had been dubbed a bomb for lack of a better idea. Perhaps the most credible explanation is given by a cipher bureau technician, Czar Ibdelewski, workers at BS-4, the cipher bureau's German section, christened the machine a bomb, because of the characteristic muffled noise that it produced when operating. According to a top-secret U.S. Army report dated June 15, 1945, a machine called the bomb is used to expedite the solution. The first machine was built by the Poles and was a hand-operated multiple Enigma machine. When a possible solution was reached a part would fall off the machine onto the floor with a loud noise. Hence the name bomb. Up to July 25, 1939, the Poles had been breaking Enigma messages for over six and a half years without telling their French and British allies. On December 15, 1938, Two new rotors, 4 and B, were introduced. As Radewski wrote in a 1979 critique of Appendix 1, Volume 1, of the official history of British intelligence in the Second World War, we quickly found the wirings within the new rotors, but their introduction raised the number of possible sequences of drums from 6 to 60, and hence also raised tenfold the work of finding the keys. 
thus the change was not qualitative but quantitative. We would have had to markedly increase the personnel to operate the bombs, to produce the perforated sheets and to manipulate the sheets. Harry Hinsley suggested in British Intelligence that the Poles decided to share their enigma-breaking techniques and equipment with the French and British in July 1939 because they had encountered insuperable technical difficulties. Radewski rejected this, no, it was not, cryptologic difficulties. That prompted us to work with the British and French, but only the deteriorating political situation. If we had had no difficulties at all we would still, or even the more so, have shared our achievements with our allies as our contribution to the struggle against Germany. See also, Polish Cipher Bureau. Bomb, machine, inspired by Radewski's cryptologic bomb, that was used by British and American cryptologists during World War II to decrypt German Enigma ciphers. Cryptanalysis of the Enigma. Zygelski sheets, device. Invented about October 1938 by Henrik Zygelski and called perforated sheets by the Poles, that made possible the recovery of the Enigma's entire cipher key. Notes, Marian Radewski, The Mathematical Solution of the Enigma Cipher, Appendix E to Wardy Enigma, 1984, pages 290. Marian Radewski, Summary of Our Methods for Reconstructing Enigma and Reconstructing Daily Keys. Appendix C to Wardy Zuk, Enigma, 1984, pages 242. Marian Radewski, How the Polish Mathematicians Broke Enigma, Appendix D to Wardy Zuk, Enigma, 1984, pages 267. Wardy Zuk, Enigma, 1984, pages 63. Note 1. The U.S. 6812 Div. Bomb Report. A. B. Marian Radewski, Remarks on Appendix 1 to British Intelligence in the Second World War by F. H. Hinsley, pages 80. References, Wadi Zuk, Enigma, Enigma, How the German Machine Cipher Was Broken, and How It Was Read by the Allies in World War II, edited and translated by Christopher Kasberg, Frederick Maryland, University Publications of America, 1984. ISBN 0-89093-547-5. Marian Radewski, Summary of Our Methods for Reconstructing Enigma and Reconstructing Daily Keys, and of German Efforts to Frustrate Those Methods, Appendix C to Wardy Zuk, Enigma, 1984, pages 241-45. Euro Marian Radewski, How the Polish Mathematicians Broke Enigma, Appendix D to Wardy Zuk, Enigma, 1984, pages 246 Euro 71. Marian Radewski, The Mathematical Solution of the Enigma Cipher, Appendix E to Wardy Zuk, Enigma, 1984, pages 272 Euro 91. Marian Radewski, Remarks on Appendix 1 to British Intelligence in the Second World War by F. H. Hinsley. Translated by Christopher Kasberg, Cryptologia, a quarterly journal devoted to all aspects of cryptology, Volume 6, No. 1, pages 75 Euro 83. The U.S. 68 12th Division Bomb Report Eastcat 1944. External links, Code Breaking and Secret Weapons in World War II by Bill Momsen, an online simulator of the bomber by Dr. David Link.